how do you actually write a research paper at the graduate level? It's really t difficult to do, and it's a lot different than I think in terms of what you do in undergraduate studies. And it takes a while to sort of figure this out. And um, this would be very helpful if you're doing an undergraduate program or undergraduate research paper too, and you're thinking about how to actually do it. Um, and because uh, the, the principles are the same, but just the details are, are a lot different or the expectation is. So the first thing that you will have to learn, and it takes a lot of time to figure this out, and we all, you know, professors are trying to figure this out too. It's not like this is, oh, this is easy for us. It's not. It's, it's really not easy for us either. And so we're figuring this stuff out too. So the first thing is, is to, do, to define everything Everything that is new, everything that you are talking about specifically, you define it and, and then you just kind of put that little definition whenever you talk about it for the very first time. So once you start that new construct, that new idea, you just have to write about what is this thing that means or, or what it means. And sometimes it's just a brief sentence that you have to say, so-and-so is this or this this thing is, is, is this. It's going to help you out a lot. Um, and then this leads to the second thing is to write only about a few things. So these are called constructs. So the thing that you're actually interested in, only write about a couple of things at max. You know, you don't want to introduce a lot of new things. A lot of very good scholars will just focus on one or two new things that nobody else has talked about. And you're, you're thinking about creating a paper where you're writing 80% basically just what everybody else has written before, but then there's 20% new ideas that are there that people are like, hmm. Or you take these ideas that people wrote in, um, in the past and you just reframe it, reframe it in a different way where people are like, hmm, I never thought about that. That's kind of a new thing or a different thing when you're doing that. And the key is not to talk about all sorts of different things, but to focus on a single mechanism or a couple of mechanisms that, it, that are that are discussed in very rich detail and in in depth detail to be able to do this. That's hard to do. It's easy for me to say, um, but it's very hard to do. So don't get frustrated when you are not getting there. The third thing that I think almost everybody doesn't get this until you start doing it for a living. A research paper is not dry. It's not boring. It's actually a story and it should be exciting for the reader when you're reading this that you're just kind of going through it and you're you're you know you're telling the story it's like you're telling a story to your your five-year-old or your four-year-old where you're leading the reader through you know you imagine that somebody is sitting there on your lap and you're reading you're telling the story about how, what is going on and somebody's following along and they're like oh what about this and what about that and then you anticipate it you think about what they're going to say and that's the, the the next thing is as you're reading and as you're writing you're anticipating the things that people are going to say and that's where the feedback comes in that's where peer feedback is is really important because often what people will say is oh this is totally garbage well then you anticipate it and you actually build that in to what you are saying um, when that moment where somebody starts thinking about that and you're like, oh, I should write about that. That should be something that somebody should mention and we should build that in. Um, and I think an important thing is, is you can see what this is getting at is that, you know, this is the fifth thing is, is don't get fancy with what you are doing, right? That's kind of, um, that, that is like something that, that, you know, you're kind of taught to make things elaborate and make things really, you know, big words and all that kind of stuff in, in you know, in fifth grade and sixth grade. Um, you don't want to do that when you're writing a research paper in, in graduate school. You actually want to make it really basic as if it's like you're writing to, you know, somebody that's in third grade where it's very, very basic and very like not elaborate, not fancy. Um, and that's going to help out a lot in terms of people following uh, along what you're saying. Hard, very hard to do to make it very simple, um, but it does help out. In fact, you know, some of the better journals out there, the simpler, the better. They're very easy to read. And um, that getting to that point where it's very easy to read is really hard to do. It is painful to do this. So some people are very natural at writing. 
but most of us aren't. And so we have to really struggle with this. So just be very basic with what you're trying to do. And the last thing is, is you have to get used to getting negative feedback and being okay with it. And we all struggle with it. I don't like negative feedback at all, but you are, it's, it's a process that happens at the graduate level. We don't, it's, you don't write a research paper at one time and then that's it. That's not what you do. You actually iterate over time. So you write a little bit, get some feedback, and then you come back. And then you write a little bit, get some feedback and come back. And then there's this iterative process that really does help out in terms of how you are framing things or thinking about things. So really take that to heart that this is an iterative process and that negative feedback is, is, is good. Um, and you just have to sort of figure out how to process that. That's the, you know, that, that's the next step. That's the thing that is a little bit more difficult to, to take, but um, you just have to get used to it. That's, that's the name of the game.